Okay, I wanted to do a video for anybody that's having trouble with one of these crate 4x12 cabs. This is the GS412 RS, and it's got a switch on it for some confusing crap that I don't like. Um, and it's failure prone, too. So, uh, each of the uh, speakers are 16 ohms. They're uh, Celestians in this one. Um, I forget which ones. Doesn't really matter. They're not desirable ones. So, um, you have this deal here. And I don't mind the spray on it. The problem with these, already sit down in here, and here's your switch for 16 ohms or 4 ohms, right there. Okay. So, when you're coming in here. You can do the in and out on these guys right here. So like run one cab and then another cab. Um, or you can do left and right. The right channel plug here is actually a switch. And if you look down in here, these are actually... Let me see if it will let me focus. Um, each, each one of these plugs is actually a switch. Okay, but only the last one does any kind of switching with the plug. So what happens is, you take your guitar cord, okay, and you plug it in here. Okay. Let me see if I can actually really get this thing to focus. Okay, we're going to have to add the flash. Sorry, this is the world's worst video. When you plug your thing in there, see these ones aren't open. Your jack opens the contact and it breaks the connection between these four. So, uh, under normal circumstances, you put your ohm meter right here and here. And you should read one ohm or less on most meters if you have a good connection. The problem is that this thing gets corroded and it doesn't have a good connection. This follows back into here to this switch and it just screws things up. And so all of a sudden your amp cuts out and just different stuff. So you get in here and you put like a file underneath there and clean those. You don't have to worry about the other ones. They don't actually do anything. They're uh, ganged together over here and then dead ended there and there. So those ones don't matter. That's just an in and an out. And then this switch combines or parallels or series is your, um, your speakers to get a different impedance. So um, I just to give you guys that tip. If you're having problems with one of these cutting out, it's probably this. If you can't clean it, you know, you can always just go ahead and... Um, remove this or cut the traces and wire up your speakers directly uh, however you want to do it I, I don't really care for this um, but I'm not interested in modifying it either so as long as it works I'm happy but uh, I don't know if it fails again then I'm going to just remove it because I don't need these different options I don't need to drive this cab in stereo um, I would prefer straight up 8 ohm load. I don't want 4, I don't want 16, but anyway. It is what it is. You know, there's only so many combinations you can get with 16 ohm speakers. So anyway, there you go guys.